With uh, you know, our regret and sadness that we're confirming this morning the uh, death of two officers. A decade after two law officers were killed in a bank bombing in Woodburn, their community comes together with a permanent memorial to honor them. December 12, 2008, just after 5 p.m., a bomb blast ripped through a Woodburn bank, killing Oregon State Police Senior Trooper William Hakem and Woodburn Police Captain Tom Tennant. Our Lisa Baluk was at this dedication for the memorial today. Lisa, what can you tell us? Well, it was mixed. It was sadness and also joy that the community has finally come together. The memorial is part of the community healing underway. Two law officers taken from their families and the police chief fought for his survival after he lost a leg in this blast. Why Woodburn? Why our police officers? Why us? The questions still linger a decade after a bomb exploded inside the West Coast Bank branch in Woodburn, destroying lives and a sense of safety in Woodburn. But those who died remember today for their bravery. Tom Tennant and Bill Hakeem at different times, different locations, swore basically the same oath to protect and serve our community. And while they lost their lives 10 years ago, they did so by keeping their promise. The 2008 bombing started with a threatening phone call that led police to find a box in the bushes outside the West Coast Bank branch on Highway 214. Oregon State Police Senior Trooper William Hakeem, along with Woodburn Police Captain Thomas Tennant, and then Police Chief Scott Russell brought that box inside the bank. Hakeem, a bomb expert, started dismantling it, and it blew up, killing Hakeem and Tennant. The blast critically injuring Russell and also hurt a bank worker. I did get a knock on the door. It's the kind of knock that you hope you don't get. Scott Derrickson had been the Woodburn City Administrator for just a couple of weeks when this happened. We remember the bombing. It's never too far from our memory, but we also celebrate uh, the distance we've come and we're proud of uh, the sacrifices that were made. The father and son convicted of the murders, Bruce and Josh Turnage, are now on death row. Their motive? Getting cash to try and save their failing business. The widows and children of Tenant and Hakeem attended the memorial dedication today, along with dozens of local and state police and other first responders. A reminder that a community can heal. I just want to say, Bill, Tom, thank you. We love you, we miss you, but above all else, thank you. Now, if you'd like to visit the memorial, it's at the Woodburn Transit Center that just off I-5 at the Woodburn exit.